you ever hosted a panel in Zoom and wanted to record all of it? Well, today I'm gonna to talk through the Zoom recording functions and give you the best advice on exactly how to make sure that you capture everything you wanna capture during your next panel or group discussion or group presentation in Zoom. And you're gonna learn from a lesson that I learned in one of my latest events. So stick around. Before we get into it, I do want to remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. You can also head over to loganstrategygroup.com and sign up for my newsletter. I have a free checklist if you sign up that I'll send you that is what I ask all virtual event platforms, which is really helpful now. Um, it gives you guidance it's exactly what to ask them and what direction and just those good questions to make sure you're getting all the information you need to make the best decision about which virtual event platform is right for you for your next virtual event. All right, so let's set the scene. You are gonna use Zoom meeting to host your next panel or discussion, and what you're utilizing is multiple spotlights. So if you stop, if you don't know what spotlighting is, click the video, I'm gonna link it in um, to learn how to spotlight. And now if you are gonna be using multiple spotlights, so I use the panel discussion as an example, but you could really use this at any time when you wanna have more than one person spotlit, you need to listen up because there are some very specific settings in Zoom you need to make sure that you have checked. Before I really get into this, I do wanna say, so Zoom is a very easy tool to use. If you're brand new to it, there's very little information you need to start using it. But if you are using it to produce events or discussions or in any more of a complex way, I do find with Zoom, there's a lot of things you don't know that you don't know. <laughs> don't know if that makes sense, but to me, it's there's a lot of things you only learn by doing and you only learn these little nuances of little things that you have to do. And so my goal with this video is for you to learn from an experience I had with an event where we recorded it and it was a panel discussion. We thought we were capturing all the amazing speakers and turned out because we just recorded it to the cloud in Zoom, it only captured the active speaker. So it only captured one person at a time. Now, not a big deal because we still got the audio from everyone and we really did only have one person speaking at a time, but the visual was not the same as what we did in, in the moment during the event. And so if you're someone who wants to make sure you're capturing all of those multiple spotlights, I would encourage you to stick around. I'm gonna open up my Zoom and show you exactly how you need to do it to make sure you're capturing everything you wanna capture. All right, so you've opened up into Zoom. Again, back to my spotlighting tip, you have to have three people in a meeting to be able to spotlight. If you only have two, you can't spotlight, but that's really then because to spotlight two people, you're just in speaker, you're just in gallery mode. Um, so up here, I'm gonna go to speaker view and I have one person spotlit. Let's gonna add, I'm gonna spotlight myself as well. Let's spotlight me, let's add somebody else. So we have two people spotlit. Okay, so say it's a two person discussion and I wanna make sure that I get the visual of both of us on screen in addition to just us one by one. So if you go down here to record, you're gonna have two options if you've enabled recording on the back end. One is record to the cloud the other is record to this computer, or what we like to say is record locally. So if you click record to the cloud, it will put it up into your cloud account with Zoom, which is great because it doesn't then use up any storage on your computer. Drawbacks is what I've discovered, is it only allows you to actually capture active speaker, so one person at a time, gallery view, audio, meeting chat, all of the great things, but it does not capture, as of right now, this is, we're in February, 2020, <laughs> it does not capture multiple speakers being spotlit. So what you actually wanna do is you wanna to record to your computer to make sure you now see this little red button appears, it's recording, it's showing both of us. It's not just showing one of us, it's showing both of us and we can kind of play around with this recording. I'm gonna remove myself from the spotlight. I'm gonna add us back into the spotlight and we're gonna stop that recording. So I stopped, it's not gonna convert that into after I end this meeting, but I will have the recording. Versus if I record to the cloud, it's gonna to connect to my cloud server, it's recording to the cloud. We're just gonna let it record for a little bit. So let's look at the two recordings. You're gonna notice the one you did to the cloud only captured active speakers. So just captured one person at a time. If you look at your local recording, you're gonna see it actually captured both of you. So if you're an event organizer, how do you get around this? Because unfortunately you can't 
record to the cloud and record locally at the same time. So the workaround that I have is actually, you're gonna need more than one person to hit record. You'll have one person who hits record to the cloud and they're the host or co-host. You make another person the, the co-host as well and have them record locally. And now the kicker with local is you have to make sure that you have enough space on your computer, which for a short video like I just did is not really a big issue, but if you're gonna have a several hour long event, um, those video files could be quite large. Uh, so I would suggest taking either making sure you clear space off on your physical computer or connecting a hard drive and making sure all your recordings go to that hard drive so that you don't have that issue. I have had it at other events where we've wanted to record locally or the client has wanted to record locally and we have discovered in the moment the person they wanted to do it on their side unfortunately didn't have enough space on their computer. Lesson learned here is if you wanna record a multiple speaker spotlight multi-person spotlighting and you want to record it all and you want to be able to see all of those spotlights together at once you need to record locally if you also want to capture the active speaker view which it's only focusing on one person at a time maybe you're doing some really cool post-production of your virtual event that's a good um, view to have if you also want gallery view that's going to show you everybody in your gallery so that's going to show you attendees as well which is also a fun view if you're going to do post-production but I wouldn't recommend using gallery view as your only record uh, event recording because it is distracting because you're going to see 25 people on the screen in addition to your speaker. So it's not as focused. So like I said earlier, Zoom, you don't know what you don't know. You'd often learn new tricks and tips and things just by doing it. And so that was why I wanted to share it with all with you, because I know I'm not alone of wanting to capture that full experience. I will say from this event example, it did make it really fun to be definitely one of those. You had to kind of be there to get the full experience, but I always aspired to kind of keep improving and learning and everything. And so moving forward, I think I will be doing that suggestion I made to you guys of having more than one person hit record. If you're a one person show, um, it's having a friend or someone you know who will be attending, you can give permissions for them to record. That's just super helpful to make sure that you're capturing everything that you are because similar to in-person events, once the events happen, you can't really go back and redo it all. It's not like a, show, a Broadway show that gets to happen eight times or 11 times a week, how many shows they do. So I do recommend that you triple, triple check all of your, of your recording settings. And if you wanna capture that multiple speaker view, you do need to record locally to get that specific view. And that's all I have for you. This has been another installment of my favorite tips and tricks when it comes to event production, strategy, and running your own business. I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer, and I'll talk to you guys again next week. Bye.